I got to work this weekend, so I won't be able to go to late. So my little grandson, we're going to celebrate his four-year-old birthday today. And my daughter's got a shirt on for the Blue Lagoon. Or it might be called the Blue Canoe. Watch your mouth. I don't know what he's talking about. He's a little mean one. The Blue Canoe. We made it this time, hopefully. We're at the Blue Canoe. And Red Springs. There's my wife. I'm trying to figure out what she wants to eat. That used to be a vault. So they redid this whole restaurant out of a bank. And it's been about three, three and a half years. So some people somewhere else and the bank was closed and they just went and redid the bank and kept a lot of the stuff and made a restaurant out of it. Pretty cool. I don't know why they call it the Blue Canoe though, but maybe they like the river. This used to be an old bank. So, so they got a safe right there along with the sodas. And then this is where you used to come in here and make deposits. And where you used to make deposits where the uh, desserts are. And that's my little grandbaby. It looks like an old sewing table made for a picnic table. Right, last lady working here, she told me um, two people, they own another restaurant. We learned a valuable lesson today. This one right here, he's so hungry, he grabbed my daughter's food and threw it on the ground. And this one, he didn't want to eat nothing, so he threw his food on the ground, but we're going to blow it off. He threw his on the chair. He threw his on the chair. And then uh, my wife got salad and a green salad. Yeah, that salad right there, he ended up throwing most of the salad. We caught it, but most of the stuff went out on the ground. Even olives went inside my shoes. So it's going to be a while, you know, if we go out to eat, they're going to have to sit at a different table. We've had to take all the ammunition where they can't throw it. You know, it's uh, it's crazy. I love him, but woo, he rough to be around. He just, he's four. <laughs> rough. Yeah. Not. Look at that. My grandson. Yeah, my daughter said, He's gonna take Parker out for his birthday, or he's gonna do something for birthday, so take us out to eat. So I said, Okay, but he's so bad, he threw his uh food in the floor, he threw his drink on the floor, he got the salt and pepper condiments, throwing them, trying to knock all our food on the floor, and then he took my wife's salad and knocked all the cucumbers out. So, yeah, we're, we're not probably going to go anywhere with him till he learns how to behave, which, you know, I doubt that'll ever happen. <laughs> so, he just, it costs too much money. It costs too much money to go with somebody, you know, and uh, he's four years old, but they they haven't really got him to behave. And he's just wide open, so he's probably got ADHD. He's really high strung. You know, I, I was like that when I was little, so I can't blame him. But we just gonna have to figure out something. Either we we'll have to sit at separate tables where he can be at the table by himself, but I'd him throwing projectiles. He just he's a mean little kid. <laughs> and he, he wants to be the center of attention. I don't know, but you know, fifty one dollars and then just throw the food all in the floor. It's it's crazy. I only get like three hundred something dollars a week. So I I just can't do it. Whew. You on the way back, there was a funeral. We had to stop waiting for a funeral. Then there was a 18 wheeler broke down and they had to switch cabs. I guess the first cab couldn't haul it or something's wrong with it. So we had to wait on that. So riding in the country. So we finally got home. <laughs> 
Shoo. We finally made it. So I hope, hope y'all's days not going as crazy as mine.